this is what I did for people who came in with food allergies. And I saw some pretty intense food allergies, um, full body rashes, hair falling out when you eat the wrong food, insomnia for days at a time when you eat the wrong food. And in every circumstance, I would say probably about three people were not able to return to everything, um, had to stay away from gluten ongoing. But everyone else was able to return to eating all foods without any reaction or reactivity. And of course, if you overeat gluten or, or wheat, or you're gonna have a problem because it's kind of inflammatory anyway, but you can eat it without reaction. So we start with the, the body points and primarily the digestive points. So on the left side, this is my left side, we have stomach, pancreas, and spleen is more over on the side here. On this side we have um, liver, gallbladder, and you can just kind of poke around in those, in between the ribs there. And then under the ribs too. And wherever there was tenderness, and I would muscle test so I would kind of be guided with what strengthens the person, but you could just test them all and just see where is their tenderness. Oh, there's a little tenderness there. Okay, let's massage that. And then what we do, there's a reaction in our body like this when something hurts us, like if we got punched. So we kind of undo that reaction. Um, and it can help to actually, if, if you're reacting to sugar or wheat, have just a tiny bit and just taste it, just a tiny little bit. And so you massage and you calm down the organs that are related. Stomach is reacting, oh, that's tender. And then you pull and you kind of undo that that reaction and then you can also pull on the feet too because your feet kind of do that same thing ow and you pull down so you massage hit the tender spots and then pull down in clinic people wouldn't even know I was doing that because I they'd be on their on their back and I'd hit the spot and I'd go click 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 but that's what I was doing and it seemed to work pretty effectively you can also apply the EFT protocol so after you do that you're still tasting you're still t tasting that wheat or sugar or, or whatever it might be, corn. You can run through the whole protocol, even though I'm having a reaction to this corn. I deeply love and accept myself. I kind of like, I deeply love and respect myself. It goes a little bit further even. And then this corn reaction, can't eat food. I enjoy my food because I'm always feeling lousy after I eat. And you just say whatever you're feeling. It's food reaction. That's all you really have to say is this food reaction. This food reaction. But you might describe what it does to you. All that bloated feeling or if your hair fell out, you definitely want to... That's a kind of an intense reaction. And I actually missed one, didn't I? In front of the ears. And that is one that EFT actually skips. And I just add them all because I'm not sure why you wouldn't. This food reaction. Food reaction. And food reaction. And that's just sort of whipping the end of the, the jump rope to shake off all the debris and clear, clear that channel. And it's real effective. Um, protocol for emotional, chemical, and physical. And with the physical issues, you know, we do that sheet where, oh, that's red, let's tap here. So we're, we're coordinating a little bit more. Thank you. I hope that helps.